Hey bro, yeah. what you trying to do today? Uh, 1.5 with the grain. 1.5 with the grain. You want to show some of your curve or none of your curve at all? You want to do a ball taper where it's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. it ain't no, no C cup at all, right? No C cup, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I want clean. I want to clean my face. Yeah, all right so you don't want none of this on the side. Yeah, yeah. None of this. Lip gone. This right here. And just this right here, just smooth out. So you want to do mustache and chin, or do you want to cut the sides off right here too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut, yeah, yeah. No go team. Okay. Yeah, just separate them. Yeah, yeah. And I want to just do mustache round. You know how the baby shit looks like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Beam, and today we got a banger. If you want to learn some of the top secrets in the game, you want to learn how to perfect the most crispiest lines in the game, stick through. Please hit a like, kick them feet up, let's get right to it, let's lock in. So I want to start by combing my client's hair, bringing everything forward as you guys can see. I think he kind of like, you know, underprepared with his wolf and things of that nature, but I want to comb, bring everything forward, and we bringing everything forward to basically prep by ourselves to start bringing his hair down to one desired length. I started off cutting his hair down with a one and a half, completely closed, using my purple double magnetic guards on my Andis Master Blade. So I'm using my instincts, but I put my Andis Master Blade on the clipper so I can make the clipper cut better anybody out there that's using instincts if you switch that top cutting blade with the master blade i promise you the clipper becomes a million times even better i've never been really a fan of like uh the taper blade or any of the blades uh by gamma y'all know that i'm really into the whole and this master thing because i just like the guard system and it works better for me not saying that the guards for gamma and uh the blade isn't good but it, i just you know always been a master's fan it's always been my favorite you know uh guards so for everybody that's in that comment section just gonna head rough through this with me i switched my guard to a number one completely open because i decided let's take his hair down even more when taking somebody hair down you want to ensure that you get him a nice length that they can start to create progress and start to make the waves look even better down the line but also you want to set yourself up to bring some super nice transitions to the game and as you guys can see my client got like one of those lineups where a bunch of the hair overlaps the front of the lineup so i'm gonna teach you guys some dope gems today right now i want to go in using my gamma flexes towards the bottom of the c cup area because my client said at the beginning of the video he wanted none of his c cups he wanted to just be able you know to have this area knocked out but a clean nice temp fade and a nice high slash low ball taper so i'm creating a nice consistent line right here and we just working out completely open right here going half of an inch all the way up and i want to give myself some room i'm ready Breaking out in a C motion, using the hilt of my blade, bringing all of the hair my way, prepping myself for an insane transition. Just taking my time. Drop them halfway here and just keep rocking out. Staying consistent, brush one, fade one, dropped it to the second notch before the last. And I'm just bouncing in this fade area, not completely closed. And as you guys can see, it's all level play. It's all consistency using the corner of the blade and bringing everything together. I want to give a big shout out to my dog, Jern Boomer, for putting this pushing inside of you. My sons of funk together last night. He hit me last night like, hey, I just dropped something banging in the drive. So, you know. Man, shout out to my dog. Right now, I go up another half inch with my 1 16th, giving myself some more room and finna repeat the same steps. I went open, I'm gonna drop them halfway, and then I'm gonna drop them, you know, close. And as you guys can see, we are creating a nice, clean gradient effect. But in terms of this beat, man, I had posted for all of the producers who produce for this channel, you know, Germ, my homie Deontay, Lee, everybody like out there. I wanted them, you know, to put this uh, sample together and uh, a couple other samples together because y'all know this is just what I do. This is my channel. This is how we move it. And man, Germ came through. I couldn't believe he came through last night. I didn't know what beat I was going to use for this video. Now we open right here using that 116th guard completely open, hitting the ridge of this. The taper looking so clean. And now open with the one and a half. Like, look at this, bro. 
It's low, but it's still like a mid slash high taper And I love this look It's gradient, it's clean And you don't take too much from their C cup And it don't look like you just blew somebody's sides out of their haircut I like the consistentness I like where the waves are starting to sit at now Now I take that guard off And now I just, you know, play in between the spots Now I wanna go in using my flex trimmer An inch in the back of the neck area as you guys can see a lot of his hair dropped down low so we want to give ourselves some room we want to create a nice clean taper and with that being said you got to get yourself room when you put these guidelines in so you can create a gradient you know effect going up about another inch right here using the instincts in the back as you guys could tell i got room so with that being said open these lines up and then now using my number one guard completely open as well and i got now three guidelines my ball line my open line and now my one line now going into my 116th and this halfway open right here and i start halfway open so i can start to you know debulk this line in between my open and my one it's all about remembering your steps it's all about knowing your system it's all about doing the things that make you feel like one when you behind this chair and i told y'all you know a couple videos ago you know i didn't found that place again and i'm focused and i'm locked in and with that being said all of my supporters all of the people that support beam and what beam do uh i would love for you guys to stay locked in with me i got some banging footage i'm talking about you know last week we did 10 free haircuts if you are in the tampa area i am giving 10 free haircuts uh again this week meaning all of my haircuts will be traded out for content as long as you're okay with me recording your haircut all of the haircuts will be completely free and i'm dropping my email somewhere towards the bottom of the screen now the only thing you have to do to submit you know for a free haircut is to send pictures of the front of your lineup both sides and the back of your head from that point on you just waiting on the email back from me so anybody that wants a free haircut in the tampa florida area orlando or even if you just come in to visit tampa or so happen to be into tampa you know drop that submission let's try to lock you in let's try to get you in for a free haircut remember i am trading that free haircut for content for youtube so if you're not comfortable with being on camera then i charge a standard hundred dollars per appointment but if you comfortable with being on camera we can knock that out for free so as you guys can see we're doing this back taper really clean let's get back into this we was just doing the same steps like i said earlier we did a one uh one sixteenth and then zero and we basically meshed and blended all three of those lines out now going into the right side and i'm going into the most important part and the reason i'm going into the most important part is because y'all know that i like to use this side for my motivation throughout my videos last night i was on a podcast called i cut my way out with two amazing 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 you know hosts of the show my boy ash and my boy boy shy with that being said like we was just going through my backstory and things of that nature and it's kind of crazy like to remember that like i went to college i got my electronics engineering degree i stopped doing that i started doing barber and started doing it at the highest level i became a content creator that content creation turned into me being a top level educator and now i'm a part of tune 45 and an owner in tune 45 and now making music what i'm basically saying for people out there i don't want y'all to think that i'm talking about myself but life is a journey and it take you multiple places but as long as you're willing to put your best foot forth in everything that you do solidify your name stand strong on it and stand on everything that you do and put that passion behind it because ain't nothing off limits to you you could go study one thing for four years and then next thing you know you're doing something else and then from that point on you're doing something else because at the end of the day you know you got to continuously disrupt yourself disrupting your yourself literally builds the animal it builds the monster in you with that being said if you out there you chasing your dreams in 2023 i don't care how old you is continuously chase your dreams and show these people that you've been cut from a different cloth and that's just basically my message today don't ever downplay yourself a backseat to people that ain't half as passionate about the things that you passionate about stay focused stay locked in and man that's just an amazing gym from the i cut my way out podcast and i just believe i needed to share that because I know somebody on here needs to hear that Somebody on here is very talented Somebody on here let somebody negative ways Get into, you know the things that they wanted to do and stop them from pursuing their dreams so if you out there and you listening to this message you watching this video pursue them dreams and show them that they wrong and stop telling people your dreams it's for you and it's for them to watch you do it 
So now we going in with a number one guard and this number one guard is completely closed and I just basically want to rake at the front of the hairline bring everything down because we finna get into something super scientific as you guys can see my client got a super wild lineup to all beginning barbers you know you will run into haircuts like this and I'm finna help all of my beginning barbers because I know it's a lot of my pros out there that know what to do in situations like this but I don't come from a place where I'm on here to teach pros I'm on here to teach the newer people I'm on here to teach the newest students that are basically on their way out of barber school or in barber school right now trying to learn how to perfect these lineups stick with me right now we finna get real crazy on this lineup we finna do something amazing so just stay focused with me right here it's finna get crazy with that being said we want to go in with some holding spray remember that 245 holding spray on the way i want to show y'all some pain and some pressure so you know we just out here we you know throwing some things in the mix but basically i want to hit this lineup i want to hit it with some holding spray because i know that my lineup is clean i want to bring everything forward pull everything my way starting off using my trimmers i want to hit the back nape area doing the vertical bars alone taking my time slowly but surely i just want to see how his hair reacting as the blade bounces and hits the hair i'm using the corner of my blade to work myself around the ear and just staying consistent through and through trying to make sure that i can get him the most solidified line possible without pressing without doing any damage to his skin same thing on this side flip the sides hit the other vertical nape area i do my straightaways i clean up the part around the nape area bend the ear down then use the corner of my blade to work myself all the way around the ear and just stay consistent in this area now let's get real scientific I froze frame it to show you guys to analyze these haircuts you have to look at reference points this is your reference point a because plan you know connect the dots opposed to creating crazy lines is easier you got a reference point a on the left side of the head then you'll open up and make a reference point B these will be your first two vertical bars when seeing throughout the haircut because it's very difficult to see the front of the lineup so you establish these first two reference points which will allow you to eventually hit your reference point C, which from the reference point C is connected to the center point, meaning the tip of the nose straight up all the way to the forehead will let you know exactly where you should lay the clipper at for your reference point C. With that being said, I just showed you guys a diagram. Let's get into real action in the real scenario to show you guys reference point by reference point. Reference point A, as I said, we start off on the left side of the head because it's just my strong suit, so I like making this my reference point A. And with that being said, I stamp my reference point A. Reference Reference point B, I'm doing the other vertical bar. And I want you guys to see this and really pay attention that I'm doing it like this because he got so much overhang and you don't want one side to be pushed back, the other side not to be pushed back enough. You want the evenness. So with that being said, you set in two big reference points so you can eventually connect them in the middle and get a real clean, crispy lineup. And with that being said, you are ended with this result right here. And I'm gonna freeze frame this as well just for you guys to see it. Two real clean, boom. Reference point A, reference point Z, so no matter how squiggly the line or how much overhang, you can slightly see that dotted line, I almost see it straight away. Now let's go into reference point C. Using that center point, which is the nose going all the way up, it allows me to press in the middle and work myself all the way to the side. Now you see reference point A, B, C, and from that point on, we framing out because we built the reference points to allow us to create a nice, clean, straight, sharp lineup. And as you guys can see, it's finna get ugly now. Cause now we focus now I can bang these 90 degrees out and now I can always really solidify myself back to point C and work into the right so as you guys seen reference point A reference point B reference point C move to the left then I did back at reference point C to recenter myself and move into the right now and as you guys can see it's all consistent this is how you look at it I look at all of this stuff like geometry it's mathematics to me so with that being said you know if I'm able to drop gems for beginning barbers to see these lineups through and through i'm telling you this thing is way easier than what y'all thinking you know you just haven't put analogies and you haven't put real scenarios with it my next step i want to go in using a clutch card assisting it with my product the beam team coilless compressor xl and our product no drip this product is completely waterproof so we're not worried about the client you know hitting the shower or it raining and then knocking the color off because this color was built and designed for the skin and to be waterproof so as you guys can see i'm spraying at a three to 
the four inch distance and I basically want to give myself that room. I want to double up with fibers because I wanted to give you guys more education because I was filling this video from the beginning. So we double up and we're going to do fibers because the wet colors can basically create the waterproof base to create longevity for the color. So what I'm talking about is at least a week and a half of his color being able to hold up. And then we're going to go behind that with the fibers to build on top of the hair because they're actually, you know, a dust. Those they can build on top of hair. They can sit in the hair. With that being said, as you guys see, it give it a more fuller, more dense, more richer look. And we clean. And from this point on, we do the most important part of any wave of haircut. And that's float over the waves. That's bring everything together. That's surf. You know, that's getting that bag. We getting close to that Kodak moment. And you can see it in my eyes, bro. I'm locked in. I ain't paying attention to nothing else but, you know, the objection right here and the objection is to make sure i get my boy as crispy as possible and with that being said y'all know we 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 in that duffel bro we in the duffel right now and it's looking beautiful and man this is just it's icy so i want to go in using my next product my tune 45 precision pack pencil all of the products for tune 45 that i use in this video will be in my description and i will have my discount code at the bottom of it for you guys to get an additional 15 percent off all of your orders with that being said i go back in when my trimmers hit this line because when hitting this line we are basically concealing this line and giving this line a nice clean contrast between the pencil and the skin and the hairline of this client and with that being said look how straight that is so now we go in we're gonna knock out some mustache and some chin hair work and just you know bring the haircut all the way together because we putting the finishing touches on it you know we got my dog icy the tape are clean the head laid for the line is straight like it don't get no better than that it don't get no better Laying them back angle that raises at a 45 degree angle, bring everything back to the lineup and staying consistent. Super crispy. Super crispy. Shout out to my dog Jerm again. This beat is insane, dog. Insane. Look at this, bro. Like, come on, man. I dropped gems in this video. I know somebody learned something about some lineups in here. If you were struggling with lineups before, drop it in the comment section. Let me know if I helped y'all out with the reference points of creating straight lineups today. Because I believe that was so, so, so dope. And some things I want to start adding to my content. Some diagrams and things of that nature. So I can, you know, educate a little bit easier to a lot of my newer guys out there. And as you guys can see, we clean. We clean. We clean. Icy. In the imperfect world, we do get clients that come in the barbershop looking crazy by the head, no matter if the hairline growing over the head or whatever it is. But as barbers, it's up to us to change the outcome. Without further ado, y'all know how I give it up. Let's lock in. Hashtag TBT. Hashtag glass hashtag glacier gang in that comment section it's 2023 it's year to chase them dreams stay focused stay solid stay consistent with everything that you're doing in this lifetime until then my name is beam i'll see you guys next week and i appreciate you and may god bless all right youtube as y'all can see First time client today, Ice my boy, one and a half, clean, low ball taper on both sides, clean lineup. If y'all like this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out. Until then, I'm out of here.